Real quickly, before we get started with this LEGO City update, check out this tiger. Look at the detail in the head. And I love the way all of these stripes come together. Oh, that was awesome. I mean, there is some print pieces at the top there, but just the way all the stripes come together, that's, of course, very funny. And the tail articulates, the legs articulate. He's got two points of articulation in the body. Very cool. I love the head sculpt. It is magnificent. And for a little size comparison, there's the majestic tiger beside the massive Roman Colosseum. So it's a pretty good size, hey? Not too bad. Prior to building the Majestic Tiger, Jose and I were down here and we were just working on cleaning up. I have this random table here, but that's not bad. We just wanted to clear our desk area so that we could access our parts because today we're going to be working on the Lego City. Now you can see I just cleared our entire desk as well, so we're ready to go right over there. We're going to start building something awesome using all the parts from our inventory. What is that awesome thing? Well, that is the new custom platform that is going to accommodate the Ninjago Temple. You have seen all the rock work that we've been working on, and the other day we were contemplating what to do with the raised platform over here and where we should place the temple. We have decided that we're going to be building a custom platform that's going to sit right there where these 16 by 16 plates are, and that is where our temple is going to go. So today in this video, we're going to be building a custom ninjago temple platform and this is what it looks like right now <laughs> it's a tower of two by four bricks with four 16 by 16 plates on top but the rock work in front of it looks pretty awesome with the train tunnel Mm-hmm. looks pretty good now it's time to build something super cool for this temple right here so as you can see behind here we're not really starting with too much but we do have room for two base plates yeah, it's looking pretty dynamite. What can I say? Masterpiece right there. <laughs> We've got a lot of work to do. So the first thing I did is actually whipped up this strange looking mills plate right here. This is going to leave room for the train track. And this is going to allow us to blend in the rock with the water. Because this will technically be water right here in the Ninjago sort of lake. Let's see what it looks like in the city. Because this one goes in the back, I was very easily able to remove this module right here, exposing our train track here. Made a few modifications there so you can see the train can pass by. It's not going to hit the bricks and plates. That's good. So everything looks good there. Now I built the mill plate because obviously it's going to be nice and rigid. So when we get this cliff edge built up here and probably some supports around the back wall there, and then our upper platform, it's going to be very heavy, right? So it's way better that it's sitting on a mills plate. Now, in order to place it, like when the time comes, I'm going to have to remove this train track, but train track, just you unclip it and away you go. So what's going to happen is I'll remove everything, like the uh, module here, the train track, and then place that, and then uh, put the module back, and then clip in the train track. But it's very cool how it's all modular, right? Like that is so important with this is that's what I'm finding. Everything has to be its own separate entity and it all has to connect. So everything has to align perfectly according to the studs when you're doing that. Okay, I dove right into this build and it's not done yet, but is it pretty from this side? Well, it's colorful, very colorful. But those are all the support bricks, right? You're not actually gonna see that when it's placed in the Lego city, of course. So this is where the train track will go, right? You already saw our mills plate. And all the magic is on the front. And the front of it is actually over here. This is where we have our rock wall. Hey, that looks pretty good, eh? Not bad. So we built it using a whole bunch of merps. They're all supported in the back using 2 by 4 bricks. And you can see we've started adding some detail there. A lot more detail has to be added, like more slopes, more bamboo. Uh, more waterfalls, more cheese wedges, more everything that's going to add more detail to this. But this is just the rough draft for now. So we've added a little waterfall right there. Hey, that looks pretty good. Going right down just like that there. And then we've got a multicolored platform on top here. That's where our temple is going to go. But how did we do it? Okay, so we built a rock face using four of the rectangular rock pieces stacked on top of one another. That brought us to here. Then I built a platform using 16 by 16 gray brick. And you can see some of it is actually floating. You see that? 
it's floating just like that there because I use these Technic supports underneath. They're all pinned together. And then we have the large pillars. There's a couple, so yeah, there's two four by four pillars. And then there's multiple of the two by four pillars right there. And you can see they're all interconnected at the tops there using some one by 16 brick and then some Technic stuff. And then those 16 by 16 plates go on top of that. And then I decided to make another rock base right here. Now, why did I make this the way it is? Because this is the height of the platform. So I came up here, because this is the height of the platform. The other piece is about this tall. That's the, the one with the arched train entrance. It's about this tall here. So I had to build a plate platform here so I could build this rock base coming up for the temple. Right, let's place the temple on top there and see what it looks like. So it's way up top here. <laughs> That's pretty cool, hey? I built an oversized platform for it. Now this thing does have some stuff protruding off the side, so it has to sit about four studs in in each corner. This back is gonna go against the wall, and this back is gonna go against modular buildings. And of course, we're gonna place it uh, right away here just to test it and then we'll keep building it as well. I do plan on, you know, it's not going to be like this color, right? We're going to add details to this. There's going to be all sorts of bamboo. There's going to be all sorts of little ponds of water that trickle down to the waterfall, stuff like that. This is not the final product. There's a lot of stuff that still has to happen here, but this is just like the rough, rough draft. But you can see that this here accommodates it nicely. And I can't wait to place this in the Lego City. In fact, uh, let's do that right now so we can make sure that it actually fits and actually works before we proceed uh, adding more parts to it. Because if I have to make any modifications, I'd rather do that now than later when we add all the details and stuff like that. Because the details always come last, right? But pretty cool, hey? This is like floating, like pretty deep. Like it's, it's floating good. There's a whole 16 by 16 plate there that is pretty much floating. Pretty neat, hey, and it's pretty strong. So I'm holding the camera with my right hand. This is my left hand. I can grab it by these support pillars and just pick it up and do, 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 walk right over there, right? Or because it's a mills plate, I can pick it up by the base. Obviously, it'd be optimal to have two hands, but I can, uh, I can pick it up by the base, maybe like this, yeah, like that there. It's heavy though, it's, it's, a, it's a beast, but you can literally grab it by the support pillars, which is pretty cool. Obviously, when I'm moving around, I'm going to uh, use two hands, but there's the beast so far. Happy to see that it fits over here, that's good. That's not bad, eh? So like, it blends perfectly with the other module. The waterfall comes down, it's sort of hidden there, but we'll probably have another one come down, I'd imagine maybe from this side here, down there. Might look cool and then we'll have to you know work on our water modules as well with more cliff edges around the back there and stuff and obviously we're gonna have to fill in this here you can see the color through the tunnel right which isn't good but if you can envision this being covered we'll use these to symbolize that see makes it dark you can't see the color now once you put the top on there then it'll look pretty good. The problem is I'm out of 16 by 16 dark gray plates. I mean, I have the road ones, but I don't have the ones with the studs and I need those to cover this up. I could piece it together using all the four by six plate that I have, but I would much rather do that with uh, 16 by 16. It's just gonna be so much easier and so much stronger as well. And then of course, we've got to blend all this in. We've got to, you know, like I said earlier, put the little lake in, add all the details, add hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of slopes, uh, bamboo, cheese wedges, a little path going up to it as well. You're gonna have to try and figure out where that goes. <laughs> uh, still lots of work to do. Decided that I just don't have the patience to wait for the large plates, so I decided to fill it in with the four by six plates. Not as much support, you know, because the train track runs underneath. So there's just some plates interlocking it all. And then I actually locked it into the road right here because this is one large module. So technically it gets that road, just like our other ones, right? 
So now this module has that road there. So that works out pretty nicely. So there it is there. It sort of requires uh, two hands. Uh, let's see here. Uh, maybe one hand if I grab it by there. Yeah, that sort of works, right? Not too bad. Can move it around. Pretty transportable. Pretty easy, just like the other one. Gonna put this one back in spot there and see how it looks with the uh, top filled in there. That definitely improved the overall look of it though by like capping that rock panel off. Looks pretty good. Now I've got to decide what I'm going to do up top there. Some sort of pond, waterfall, walkway, park that conjoins onto the platform there. Going to have to work on the uh, surrounding area there around the temple and finalize the placement of that. But I think that looks pretty good for now, that's for sure. So just slowly but surely making progress here in the Lego room with the new layout. <laughs> Definitely a lot more... Uh, effort <laughs> goes into creating that stuff than just slapping down some base plates, putting in some modular buildings and calling it a day. But we're sort of like, you know, working everywhere. We're working over here. We're working over in the beach area. We're working over in the residential area. We're working on uh, the downtown. We're working on everything all at once. We're building majestic tigers. You know, so we're sort of everywhere. We're bouncing around. It's not like I'm putting one solid effort into one project at a time so i think it just you know it's a good variety i think if i just work on those cliff edges for a week straight i'm gonna go absolutely crazy but that's really about it for today just wanted to uh show you how i created uh the rough draft of our temple platform and there it is continuing to work on rock panels here in the lego city let us know what you think by commenting below and like subscribe and stay tuned thanks for popping on by and farewell